Thank you for joining us here for the marriage of Lee and Corey. Lee and Corey have asked that I read this excerpt from Plato's Symposium, so I will. <laughs> Love is our best friend, our helper, and the healer of the ills that prevent us from being happy. To understand the power of love, we must understand that our original human nature was not like it is now, but different. Human beings each had two sets of arms, two sets of legs, and two faces looking in opposite directions. There were three sexes then. One comprised of two men called the children of the sun, one made of two women called the children of the earth, and a third made of a man and a woman called the children of the moon. Due to the power and might of these original humans, the gods began to fear that their reign might be threatened. They sought for a way to end the humans' insolence without destroying them. It was at this point that Zeus divided the humans in half. Each of us, when separated, having one side only, is but the indenture of a person, and we are always looking for our other half. Those who ori whose original nature lies with the children of the sun are men who are drawn to other men. Those from the children of the earth are women who love other women. And those from the children of the moon are men and women drawn to one another. And when one of us meets our other half, we are lost in an amazement of love and friendship and intimacy and would not be out of the other's sight even for a moment. We pass our whole lives together desiring that we should be melted into one, to spend our lives as one person instead of two, and so that after our death there will be only one departed soul instead of two. This is the very expression of our ancient need. And the reason is that human nature was originally one, and we were a whole, and the desire and pursuit of the whole is what's called love. It all began with a right swipe and a chance date that led to them meeting for the first time. Corey and Lee, do you remember that very moment? Lee, do you remember the weight of the front door in your hand? Mm -hmm. Corey, can you remember the pleasure of, suddenly, uh, of a suddenly open door? Both of you, do you remember what you wore? What the weather was like? Was it dark? Were there other sounds? Both of you, can you remember the very sight of each other? the sound of each other's voices hitting your ears for the first time? Did you ever dream it would lead to a day like this? <laughs> Can you believe it? <laughs> it's real. <laughs> it's happening. And it's even more marvelous than you'd ever dreamed. Please face each other. Nailed it. <laughs> And ready. take each other's hands. Nailed it. Okay. Yeah, we're ahead of the we're ahead of the we're ahead of <laughs> it. Oh, you all are ready. Yeah, stage management. You know, <laughs> so that you may see the gift that they are to you. These are the hands of your best friend, strong and full of love for you, that are holding yours on your wedding day as you promise to love each other today, tomorrow, and forever. These are the hands that will passionately love you and cherish you through the years, and with the slightest touch, comfort you like no other. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need it, support and encouragement to pursue your dreams, and comfort in difficult times. And lastly, these are the hands that even years from now will still be reaching for yours, still giving the same unspoken tenderness with just one touch. The grooms have prepared their own vows, vows for this moment. Who would have thought that three years ago a simple swipe on some random map that we'd be here today? I was never going to be married. My best friend Jackson can account for that for sure. But then I met you and you changed everything. You softened my heart and you broke down my walls. I know now that the universe made you just for me. I worry about you more than I do myself, and I'm pretty selfish. <laughs> I give myself wholly and fully to you. And I'm honored to call you my love, my cubby, my babe, and now my husband. I love you now, then, until time ceases to exist, and you're the only song that I want to sing.
love you more than I ever oh. thought I could. And of course, my mother has to intervene in this moment because nothing will ever change. And I'm sorry that that's what my family is. This is your last chance to back out. Um, but you've seen them today, and I'm sorry. Um, I can live. I, I never thought I would be here with a man I love more than anything in the world because I I didn't think I could find that and oh god I'm supposed to be the one that's good with words and this is not not my best I just love you more than words can possibly say and I just I can't wait to start our lives together because you've been my rock my strong through, through everything because these past three years have been more than any relationship should probably go through <laughs> Agreed. But we've here, and we've survived it, and I wouldn't be here without you. I love you forever, and then... wedding, rim, uh, wedding rings are a symbol of our con commitment and love. The rings are circular, like their love, with no beginning and no end. They represent what has been and what will always be. They are made of solid, sturdy material, which is meant to survive years and years of hand-holding, washing dishes, swimming, and tender caresses. Couples wear their wedding ring every day as a symbol of their love. Can I have the rings, please? You can take each other's rings. Oh. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's not gonna come off right now. I'm too stressed. You want to put the ring on Lee's no. finger? Okay. We're just acting natural. Let's go. Yeah. Put the other one on the background first. This is totally scripted and planned. We got this. <laughs> We're nailing it. <laughs> nailing it. No rehearsal. <laughs> Professionals. It's not union. It's fine. <laughs> it's fine. Um, and now it says you all are going to light the, the heart. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Now the fun part. <clears throat> oh. Yeah, now, now when they read things. During this time. Okay. Corey and Lee have yeah. chosen to have their ladies of honor read an ancient Hawaiian wedding prayer, which they think captures how they feel. It's from another time and culture, but like Plato's symposium reading, it's a remarkable expression of the meaning of human love. Before they met, Corey and Lee were halves, unjoined, except until the receivers... We're starting over. Uh... Before they met, Corey and Lee were halves unjoined except in the wide reavers of their minds. They were each other's distant shore, the opposite wing of a bird, the other half of a seashell. They did not know the other then. They did not know their determination to keep alive the cry of one riverbank to the other. They were apart yet connected in their ignorance of each other like two apples sharing a common tree. Remember? They knew of the other's existence long before understanding the desire to join freedoms, their paths colliding long enough for the indecision to be swallowed up by the greater need of love. When they came together, the sun surged towards the earth and the moon escaped from darkness to bless the union of two spirits, so alike that the creator had designed them for life's endless circle. Beloved partner, keeper of my heart's odd secrets, clothed in summer blossoms so the icy hand of winter never touches us. I thank you for your patience, our joining is like a tree to the earth, a cloud to sky, and even more. We are the reason the world can laugh on its battlefields and rise from the ashes of its selfishness to hear me say, in this time, in this place, in this way, I love you best of all. I'm getting all the juice in. Hold on. Do you want to get any more juice?
Now, by the power vested in me by the Universal Life Church in the state of Florida, you all are husbands. <laughs> you may seal your, seal your union with a kiss. <laughs> yes, we did it! <laughs> A grand exit? A grand yeah. exit. DJ, unlock that phone and play that music. Yeah, we're leaving. Yeah, like that. Thanks. Bye. We're going that way. Woo!